hello everyone it's me asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the boy photo editing so the photo was like that and after editing you are getting like that so i used something here over here that means i used preset i used a photo filter and i used plugins so at first i removed a skin spot from the face uh, by the help of the here is spot healing brush tool and the, the another plugins that is the skin final and then dodge and burn for the prominent shadow and highlighting and then i use a preset i made it earlier for you guys and i'll give you that download link in my video description and after that i used another like filter from the nick collection and adjust the lights with the levels filter so hope that you will learn from this video so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and open up here is my stock image and open it up so this one is i downloaded from pixels.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so check it out and press ctrl j for new layer of the image and here lots of spot in a face i remove them all from here spot healing brush tool and make it zoom and make the mood that is normal and the brush that is the size 15 pixel hardness 100 percent and spacing 9 percent and other thing is like that angle zero and roundness 100 percent and select here the content here this portion okay and then if you want to control the brush size press the third bracket opening and closing if you press the third bracket closing it will be bigger and third bracket opening it will be small so just drag over here this part will gone okay here so be careful when you are just removing those things and yeah if you need you can adjust the brush size like a uh, bigger or smaller so it will help you out to make your photo more prominent or more accurate so it will help you out so here this spot here this portion this portion here 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 and this area this area this portion okay that's good that's fine here so take time to remove the spots from the face okay don't do it with the hurry just because of it could be not like perfect as you want so take time and just remove them so carefully carefully remove them it will be amazing if you give time to remove that things here here as well if you need you can make it bigger or smaller if you want and just drag it out so it's easy task to do but you have to make the settings like properly otherwise it won't work properly so i just shown the process or settings like that so that's good and that's fine yeah that's good yeah it's almost done so that's good so make it zoom out yeah let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like that yeah that's fine and then press ctrl j another copy of this layer and go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer you know skin finer is a plugins of the photoshop if you want to know more about the skin finer i have another detailed video about that please check out my video description so here is the uh, two things or three things actually skin mask i don't use that skin mask i will use the skin detailing and skin tone so skin detailing here at first i'll work with the skin tone just because of the hue if you want to make the hue like that yeah that's good and saturation i'll make it down and brightness i'll increase that contrast yeah that's nice 
and the shadow i need some shadow that's fine and highlight a little bit up and smoothing i'll make this smooth like 75 uh, percent and fine i'll make it 12 so let's see the before one and after one difference yeah before one and after one where the before skin you're getting some dots or uh, like spots but in this phase or in this window you are getting like that those are the uh, red color of a face so it's natural so i'll decrease the highlight a little bit so that's good and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and it's easier than any other process so yeah that's fine before one was like that and like that and after removing this spot you are getting like that and after adding the preset that means the skin finer you are getting like that okay that's fine now i will add the shadow and highlighting that is the dodge and burn option so press ctrl j and j two layers i'm giving the name shadow the first one and the second one highlight so that's good select the highlight option turn off the shadow and go to the blending mode and make it screen so right press and blending options from here here is the underlining layer and you'll find out the highlighted area of the face yeah and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light of the face yeah that is amazing and hit ok that's fine mask it go to the image and apply image and hit ok so shadow or highlight highlight is done and now shadow turn on it and go to the blending mode and make it multiply and after that right press and blending options from here find out the shadow of the face press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the shadow with the face and hit ok after that mask it and go to the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok so you are getting two layers shadow and highlight so select these two layers make it group again mask it and image and apply image so uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting the subtle change actually huge change so highlight and shadow is prominent in this layer okay fine so i will merge all the layers so select all the things all the layers actually make it group and make it merge after that you want to if you want to enhance the eye color and go to the make a new blank layer and make the foreground color white and take a brush which is uh, like first one brush and make the brush size according to the cornea yeah like that and select once and select once and go to the blending mode and make it overlay yeah the cornea color or eye color will enhance if you need you can adjust the fill and opacity yeah that's fine make it group and make it merge so now i'll apply my preset which i made earlier for you guys so go to the filter and camera filter camera filter is plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version if you are the user of the cs version please check out my video description i'll give there the camera plugin setup link over there so here is small menu load settings options so here i made the boy retouch this preset xmp file and open it up yeah you'll get the like uh, filters over there and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output to those who are interested to download the preset please check out my video description always i do give their the preset and other stuffs over there so after that go to the filter again and nick collection this one is another plugins of the photoshop here are lots of like uh, effects or filters bunch of filters actually so it will help you out to make your photo more amazing so i just downloaded this one and i'll give you that download link in my video description the nick collection color effects pro from here uh, i'm using the cross processing these things and go to the here lots of methods or other stuffs you can use one of them so i'll use from here b04 lb04 so here is the strength option if you need you can adjust the strength if you want and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and let's see what was the before one and now you are getting what is like that so 
before one was like that so let's make it zoom and after one you're getting like that so far difference between the previous one and after one so what i have done again i'm just repeating that here at first i'm turning off okay at first like that so at first i just remove the spots from the face with the help of by the help of the spot healing rush tool then i use a skin final plugins for the smooth skin and then the touch burn that is the shadow and highlighting and after that i enhance the eye color and then i use a preset and then i use another preset so you are getting final output from here hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you want to download the like plugins and my presets please check on my video description if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i may be signing out today bye